Hello, friends, friendly friends. My name is Host Eric. I'm the host of Talking with Famous People. And if you know anything about me and Talking with Famous People, then you know I'm here to talk with famous people. Court Chester's a famous person. He's here. Uh, I believe self-identifies as ENTP. Yes, I am actually going to talk about cognitive functions tonight. I want to talk about the way that my dad's TESI both liberates, liberates and limits him. Limerates him. So the reason I got prompted to do this topic is because this morning my dad came out here and he wanted to get some boxes to put mugs in from the shelves back there that you can't see right now. And hello, Walter Reisman. And so we went and I told them, well, look, Dad, they have storage containers at Home Depot. You could go there and you can get plastic ones with the lids on them if you want. And so he went inside and he went on the computer and he went to Home Depot.com. And then he walked out here and he told me, they don't have any of those things in stock. You have to order them. It'll be like weeks before they get here. I'm like, I'm pretty sure they do have them in stock, Dad. I've been to Home Depot before and gotten them there. He's like, well, I just looked online. So I went inside, and he had failed to click the box that says only select those that are available in the store, right? And so he kept clicking ones that weren't available in the store and uh, just determined that none of them were available in the store. Now, this would seem to be terrible TE in some sense. But I think what it's reflective of is the limits of TESI. So my dad has, an, has a developmental arc that has a learning part and then a executing part. Early in his life, he learns how to do different things. And he uses his TE in conjunction with his SI to... Uh, to master a bunch of skill sets and stuff. As he figures things out, he puts it in his memory banks, and then he re references that to determine how to do things once they occur again. The problem with this, the computer is he doesn't, he didn't grow up during a time period when he could learn that. He's now really kind of past the learning stage. As an SI user, he's too settled into referencing the things he already knows and has already learned. Now, the ESTJ TE plays out beautifully over time in certain areas. For example, my dad did the conventional style recommended investment thing, which is he gradually invested in the stock market and never moved his money out of it and reinvested the dividends and all that kind of shit, right? And set up all of his stuff for very long-term wealth management. So he's in good shape now as... 80-something-year-old, uh, right? And another thing he did that really shows the development of SI over time, SITE over time, is this house has got to be the most well-laid-out, mo most efficiently structured, most well te place that I've ever been in. It's like... Um, I Now that I'm learning like where he keeps things and stuff, everything's kept in a sensible place. He's got his way of doing everything, and it all makes perfectly good sense. And it's all just like, you know, like this air conditioner here. He, there's, there was originally an air conditioner installed on the, the sidewall of the garage here. So the air conditioning would blow in from over there. But he didn't like the way that it cooled the room. It didn't cool it properly as he saw it. So he had this ceiling-mounted Mitsubishi Electric thing installed in here. And it's it's spectacular. Um Everything is done intelligently. Doors don't open into each other. Uh, you know, the laundry room thing is behind this closing door, and and the, the oven is badass, and he's got, like, all badass uh, pots and pans, just, like, excellent cooking shit. And, like, everything he has is excellent. Um, there's a little shovel, a, sp a spade, that... I, I looked at outside and it's entirely 
cast one piece stainless steel or like you know thick stainless steel with a rubber handle put around it so it, you can't break it it can't break now most trowels they'll start to bend if you put too much uh, strength into it at the point where the handle meets the shovel part this one can't of course he got that one you know he's that's t-e-s-i he probably had an experience before where he bent a trowel like that and he determined he would not get that kind of trowel again and fix the problem you know if something's not if something breaks around here he's immediately on it fixing it calling somebody to fix it or fixing it himself i had to help him with the screen door the other day because uh it randomly fell off and it's like it had been opening and slamming for so many years that the metal fatigued and it just psh. but the point is <clears throat> an older estj is not going to necessarily be able to show good te when it comes to things that they aren't already familiar with they have to have grown up with it a new a younger estj who grew up with the computers and the internet and stuff they're probably going to be just fine figuring out the te stuff for computers my dad does things that i just think are I mean, insanely boneheaded. Like, he got this script, mal script. They kept telling him he had a virus, called his Apple support number, which is an international number, and and he called it, you know. He he sort of realized what he was doing at the last second and hung up, but the point is, that's terrible to eat. Hi, hey, Eric, I've got an issue I'm hoping for your input on. Basically, I feel like my tertiary FE has been making me a yes man for opportunistic gains, but it's getting to me, and I'm like, blow up on people. Um, you have to figure out the how to navigate FE in that capacity in a couple of different ways. There's a number of pitfalls for us FE wise. We can be too show offy. We can always be trying to impress people. We can fail to account for how displays of competence can actually be off putting. Um, we can be sometimes willing to sacrifice things we don't really want to sacrifice because of FE reasons. We regret it later. That sounds like what you're doing there. Uh, what I would say is I just really need more information. Is this at a, at a work site? <laughs> Another example of ESTJ limits. My dad asked me at dinner tonight, we were eating dinner together. Um, thank you, Jen. I am a lot happier now. So my dad asked me about the date last night, and I said, oh, yeah, it went really well. I'm actually, I determined that I'm actually quite good at that, you know, going out on dates with people who do internet dating because the women have been on lots of terrible dates <laughs> in the process of going to internet dating with people. And it's pretty easy for me to compare positively with them. I'm pretty polished at this point. I told this to my dad and he said, oh, I have no idea what to do. I have no idea how to do anything like that. You know, when I met your mother, the first thing I did, uh, I said, uh, Jane, you want to come look at my engine? And we went outside and looked at the engine in the Mini Cooper. In retrospect, probably a bad decision. <laughs> you know, that's how my dad, when my, my dad met my mom, he's like, do you want to go look at my engine? And he took her outside to look at the engine in his car. <laughs> how dorky is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, what woman wants to see that? No, nobody, you know? <sighs> the TE question you gave me, my response much less sophisticated than yours, which faces with, I'm wondering how you interpreted my answer cognitive function was. Um, I just interpreted it as meaning you, you're, you're ignoring TE is, is somewhat less activated 
than uh, my demonstrative or his ignoring TE. And the reason is because you're very advanced right now in your own modalities for however old you are. You can't be over 21. Um, you're extremely advanced in your own modalities. The thing is, the TE comes out a little, uh, a little more slowly, I guess. I am, I am happy. I'm super happy. I feel, I feel um, light. I feel free. I also feel like transformed. Like I entered into that relationship, Eric the Gray, and emerged from it, Eric the White. Um, do or and I use find it easier than SA use supernatural technology? Right, that's the other half of the point. I think TE and I, your ENTJs or your INTJs, they're not going to have that sort of problem with with new technology or new things to be figured out. They're not going to sort of have that hump style arc where it goes learn, 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 execute, 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 and the, as the execution goes up, the learning goes down. That's how I think it is for ESTJs. But for ENTJs, I think, or INTJs, for example, the thing is they probably have, they continue to be able to solve new problems all the time, but they don't probably ever apply that kind of not, you know, deeply experienced TE to, like, for example, their own life and living space the way that my dad has. My dad has this ultra ergonomically sculpted life in space for himself and my mom. What they wanted to do, they had the resources, they had the environment, you know, it's like everything was structured just so. I don't think that the NTJs do that for themselves as quite as well. So in some sense, if you're if you're looking at it from a selfish frame, it probably might be better to be an ESTJ. I think ESTJs have a little bit easier time finding satisfaction and contentment, whereas NTJs, I think, struggle a little harder with that. Is there a certain time you usually stream? Probably, you know, I probably stream a couple times a day. Um, like, now that I'm not in a relationship, I have a lot more time and I have a lot more attention to give things. And I'm not having, I'm not being, I'm not being occupied by a lot of worries that I was before. ISTJs don't do well with technology. ICJs and ESTJs both, but I mean, the thing is, if they're young enough, then it's fine. Like my friend Cameron, he's an ISTJ. Uh, he's my age, and I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm not sure why that got published, because that was supposed to be a, a video for admin C only. And and it was I put I uploaded it a long time ago. I must have scheduled it. I'm not sure. I'm probably accidentally scheduled. I kind of want to take it down. But I think you're reminding me. I forgot about that. That was not intended to be published. Visibility. Yeah, that was an accident, basically. Or I might have intentionally uh, scheduled it back way back when. I don't, I don't know why I would have, but I might have. All right, how does TESI manifest in ENFPs? There's a scenario where ENFPs use only those two functions. Uh, probably. I would suggest that you know, for either ENFP or ENTP, there's a lot of NETE going on, which is kind of contradictory because NE is like possibilities and TE is about reducing possibilities to a single ordinal set of operations. No, I actually, I actually, but oops, because I was like, oops, this published, you know, or I wasn't being passive aggressive. Uh, 
Oh, I see. Um, uh, if you're still around at the end of this live stream, Fenty Deluxe, remind me before I get off and I'll meet with you briefly in the autonomy room. We'll talk about it, okay? Uh, what professions have the most intuitive versus the most sensors? Well, professions that have a lot of intuitives are probably college professor, like um, conductors, uh, maybe. Are you still up or just up, Fenty Deluxe? Um music conductors well because you figure composers conductors not necessarily instrument players though are the creative more the more, more creative aspects of the the field are going to be more likely to be intuitive uh writers artists more likely to be intuitive but like doctors not necessarily at all Lawyers are probably more likely to be intuitives. What type do you think would I want to have everything in their living space be new? Throwing out old stuff even if it's still good. Uh, SI Polar. <laughs> SE Third. You just take an action to renew your space because it doesn't link to your identity at all. You're learning for a test and can't really sleep. My sleep rhythm is the best. Okay, well, we'll see if you're still around. The other live chat, talk to me, remind me, or if you remember, and we'll go meet in autonomy. Uh, let's see here. Countess. I'm supposed to read something, but I'm feeling lazy. Well, then you put away your reading eyes for good, Countess. Say, these reading eyes are going to the box. I'm putting it in my seeing eyes right now. What's a good way to determine NI polar? Hmm. Matt Evans, that's a good question. Also, hi to you as well. It's a tough question to answer. I don't have a clear-cut NI polar test, but um, I would say, for example, if I were to, to ask you, give you three clues to something and ask you what the answer is. In theory, I haven't really had a chance to test it because I don't get many uh, ESTJs and ESFJs to type. Very few. They're not interested in typology generally because they're in bipolar. But um, I would suggest that a good way to to do that would be to say, "All right, somebody has a a pickaxe, a burrow, a pan, and a floppy hat." And they're walking to the mountains. What are they? And then they say a oh, prospector. Or um, you could say, give me one thing that connects all three things. Grass. Uh, ball. Um, metal. And they go, you know, football stadium. It includes, yeah, or something more specific, maybe. You know, the thing is, I haven't really worked on those kind of questions very much, and I'd like to work on that variety of questions. So I've also discovered that there's there are things you can learn just by going like this. Let's just do word association for a while. And I'll just say a word, they say a word, it, it goes with it, whatever. And there's a, there's a, I'm glad, Rachel, I'm really glad that you bought cheese today. That warms my heart know that you're getting enough calcium you're getting enough cheese good which is a little known nutrient nutrient that's only in cheese and you're getting enough yellow or white depending on the color of cheese ENFPs want to secretly be seen as useful agree or disagree ENFPs want to secretly be respected agree or disagree I mean I think ENFPs want secretly to be seen as warm and ENFPs want Secretly to be seen as competent. 
uh, which is sort of what you're saying, except the useful part is not the same, but the respective part is kind of the same. Because really, to have to be res to be respected is to be thought both warm and competent. And uh, a lot of times, people will have no problem with one of those and problems with the other one of those. So thinking types tend to have less problem being perceived as competent and more problem being perceived as warm. Cheese and tuna. Cheese and tuna is good. Now look, here's how you do it. This is called the Eric Special Tuna Melt. First, you get your can of tuna. Then you take off the top of it, the metal lid of it. And then you push the metal lid down into the tuna to squeeze out all the tuna juice. Then you put the dried out sort of, you know, squoze in tuna into a pan with some hot oil going in. It's hot, okay? Hot pan. A little bit of hot oil. Or you could use butter, either way. Um, and then you stir that around and make it kind of brown it up a little bit, right? Then you put the cheese there, right there in the tuna while it's still in the pan. You mix it all together, make it all melty together like that. Then, here's the key thing. People think this sounds gross, but it's absolutely fucking fantastic. You gotta squeeze some ketchup into it while it's still in the pan. Squirt, make that cook all around, too. So, get your cheese, your tuna, and your ketchup all mixed together in the pan like that, and cooking. And then after that's all browned up a bit, then you take your breads, and you put the tuna on top of the piece of bread, but then you put the bread back in the pan. So you toast the bottom of the bread. And you toast the bottom of the other bread at the same time. Now, while the this one is going to keep get toasting, flip this one over because you can because there's no tuna on top. Um, and then at the last second, you push them together. And that's it. And you just eat it like that with something to drink. That's how to make a tuna melt. Okay. In case you weren't aware, that's how you make a tuna melt. That's how you make a proper, bomb-ass, super good tuna melt. Remember, things you might forget. you got to push the tuna water out. Don't put the tuna water into the pan. That's a mistake. That's what the lid is for. Before you take it off the can, you push it down while holding it upside down over the sink, and the tuna water comes out. Okay, well, that's up to you, Michael Thompson. Um, I gave you the standard version, which is your rectangles. But your triangle sandwiches, uh, if you want to go up a level, if you want to add flair, if you want to add accoutrements, if you want to add a little extra je ne sais quoi, then uh, go ahead and cut a diagonal, cut, cut it into triangle sandwiches. And yeah, your sandwich will probably score a few more points than my rectangle sandwich. I wouldn't be surprised. You're right about NTJ. Our environment is set up around what we think will make our lives more efficient long term, i.e. amber lighting, no TV, no couch, Japanese style organic mattress, standing desk. Right, the ESTJ is not minimalist, but they are not they are not inefficient at all either. So my dad has everything he ever needs, basically. If you need battery, dad, I need a D battery. Well, they're right here, son. Dad, we're out of paper towels. Oh no, there's another big package on top of the fridge in the garage, son. It doesn't matter what you need. Like I came here, right? I was like, damn, I don't have any toothpaste, any toothbrush, any deodorant. I bet dad's got some in his fucking drawers in his bathroom. I went into my dad's bathroom, I opened the drawer. He has two drawers full of travel toothpaste, toothbrushes, soaps, shampoos, conditioners that he's gotten from hotels over the years. Just shit tons of them. Deodorants, everything. Um... So I, I helped myself to a toothbrush, and toothpaste, a deodorant. Um, oh, no. Oh, thank you, none your biz. But listen, that, that $2 does salve the wound on my heart from hearing Matthew Alistair once again reference the Aubergine. They are called Aubergine plants, and I don't want anybody to say otherwise. Is he an ETJ? Or is he an ENTJ? Well, Fenty Deluxe, listen, here's the problem. He's definitely an ESTJ. Because then your biz paid two dollars and you didn't pay shit. Um it's the advantage of uh of Super Chat. It makes your your stories come true more. 
Ni polar. I think Ni polar too. I mean, I've never seen any. I don't think there's any possible way an EMTJ can be that dumb about everything. Uh, hey, 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 hey! It's not called an eggplant either, Countess. It's called. No, it is confused about being a plant. It thinks it's it's it has self esteem issues. It goes, what the hell am I? Like some sort of big purple phallus, like Barney's dick or something. Um, so that's why it prefers to be called the Abergag plant. Uh, your dad sounds exactly like my mom. If he were a vanity obsessed, mildly harpy, well maintained, raunchy adjacent adjacent vestige of 1960s Huntington Beach. That's some fucking INFJ poetry right there. What that is probably like a buck. Uh, this is a slow chat. For 50 viewers, are you condemning your fellow chatters? Are you shaming them for their lack of chit chat? The differences are quite stark. ISFJs are significantly more talkative than ISFPs. ISFJs are also overseeing more TI folks than ISFPs. Uh, true on both accounts in general. Some ISFJs are less TI folks than others, but all ISFJs are going to be more talkative than ISFPs. I couldn't watch it to the end. What, the Britney video? Uh, yeah, I took it down. It was an accident. What do you think NITE home looks like? NITE home? Oh, uh, well, somebody up, up there said it's, it's quite quite minimalist, probably, as they get older. They they want to reduce the number of objects. They're, they're not going to have everything they need on, on hand. They're going to We'll wait till they need to go to the store or figure out some other solution, like order it from the store or something. But, um, I would type more, but I tend to offend people. Joel, Nathan, Henry, that that's why you need to type more. So you can practice not offending people with your typing. No, not minimalist. I don't know. It's, I mean, I would say it's messier. It's probably not as ergonomic. It's probably not as efficiently designed as an ESTJ home. It's not going to have all the shit that you need, right? Like, <laughs> not your best. <laughs> what does METH stand for? I like the fact you put the periods in there. Uh, let's see. Uh, intuitive, extroverted thinking healer. He's a Mentos. She's a Mentos eating thinking healer. Okay. Um, if you're a Mentos eating thinking healer, hi, hi, Taylor. How's it going? Who's my dog? I like that, host Eric. Thanks, Rachel Lapalosa. What type is the moon? Let's see. The moon is F I F I N I. It just has two functions. It's feelings and truth. That's all. No, and S E. It's got some sunshine in it too. I'm radiating off of it. I see an S-I. It's got some title things. So it's just S-E, S-I, N-I, and F-I. That's it. It's got no N-E. It's got no T-I. It's got no T-E. Brittany is ENTP female? Yeah. Manic, eccentric, troubled. Let's be nice, please, people. Bong rep. Thank you, Oswaldo Munoz. Someone's being nice to me, at least. Reminding me of what's important, as I forget sometimes, it is my want. That's W-O-N-T, of course. Um, if I don't use their faces to express nothing, not today, not no time, not never, the moon's just a big hologram. You know, uh, back in the day, before they invented hologram technology, there was no moon. Your mom's face is a hologram, Melly E. Your mom's face is a hologram. Holographically giving me fellatio every night. 
could you further explain the concept of SI and seeking homeostasis? Well, I would say that there's a state of physical equilibrium that's attained when you're full. You don't have to go to the bathroom. You're not sleepy and you're not thirsty and you're not cold and you're not too hot. So that would be called, I guess, homeostasis. And an SI person keeps very good track of that and tries to maintain in homeostasis. Uh, so uh, that's what I mean by that. Like, I will not attend to that very much. And so I'll get out of homeostasis pretty often by doing things like um, letting myself get too thirsty, letting myself get not get enough sleep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, non-alcoholic beer. No, we're not talking about boobies. We're talking SI and homeostasis at the moment. What types are would be prone to joining a secret society and doing something like faking and moon landing? INTJs, I guess. They're the types that all think that it happened that way. Yeah, we're talking about your guns, Taylor. Your biceps, your muscles. You're like, pow, punch, pow, pow, with your muscles. Yeah, can I just be a lamb, please, and Facebook message me pictures of your boobs? I really appreciate it. That guy's wrong, God damn it, said Bruce says Eric to Bruce Wayne. I'd love to see them. Um, no, no, no. I'm saying to Taylor. Taylor gets pictures of the boobs all the time. It's a very surprise for me. You don't want to waste your boob pics on Taylor. They just throw them in the pile. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, you are abuse therapy. I never abused Kim, really. Um, <laughs> I just had to win a little battle there. That's all. You know, all's fair. Let's see. Buzz Aldrin is an INTJ? I don't think so. I don't know. Joel really hates FI people. Is that true, Joel? Are you anti... Are you anti... Uh, Anti-FI people? <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> He's XXXX because he's dead. Who's dead? Who's dead? I wonder who's dead. Who's dead? I wonder who's dead. So, uh, Matt Evans, I already saw that comment before. And, um, I wouldn't. My bong is naturally clean. It's, it, see, people don't understand. Bong water and marijuana smoke and stuff, they season the inside of a bong. They don't dirty it. Oh, my God. Oh, sweet Jesus, Lord, and heaven above. Thank you for delivering him unto me and his demons. All right. I'll close the door. God. You don't be a dick about it. Oh. What is popping? I am popping. I am popping and locking because I'm a break dancer. 
can't use bourbon in your bomb because THC is alcohol soluble. Where are you guys from? Hey, come here often. What's your sign? My name's Fenton Deluxe, and I'm down with the lovely lady. Rhythmically challenged. Well, maybe I'm not a very good break dancer. INTJ homie, that's uh, quite a snappy remark. Like I said, Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are we in the middle of doing right now? Right now we're in the middle of pulling some bomb rows, and I want to make sure that I get a couple of times uh, a couple of minutes here to pull a couple of bomb rows. Any tips on existential depression? I will think about that for a second while I pull a couple of bomb rows. While I'm doing that, all y'all can listen to this. Loud enough to disrupt everybody's dreams. Temptation means the stakes are made until it seems that your body's got throwing shades. I won't be just another casualty. This is his office, his old office, the back house. Oh, it's going to have spacey in it. Those are the uh, guide vocals. I might keep little bits of my vocals. I actually, I want to get spacey and I want to get Mary. Uh, I don't know what else to say what her name is. Mary, whatever that chick is. I want her to uh, I want her to sing it, it too. Eric is live streaming himself so an audience can watch him listening to himself. Wow, uh, and pulling bong riffs. It just gives you guys something to, to listen to while I'm busy and I'm not talking. You have a link to that song with lyrics? Um, oh, yeah, 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 sure. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I like being able to use vocals that are not my own. So, Joey just have to do. Let me, uh, yeah, the meow real quick for you, okay. Uh, you have a decent mic. Do you have a microphone that doesn't taste like ass? Thanks, Countess. Yeah, sure. I, I'd like to use uh other people's vocals so um okay well make sure your iphone is approximately the right uh the right distance from you when you go to record yourself singing it because the important thing is you can get very good audio on those phone mics but the important thing is uh you have to have it the right distance if it's too close it'll be um it'll peak it'll be too hot and so if it's too far away then it'll be full of reverb or just room noise so also do it in a quiet spot 
It's where you don't have background noise. And don't do it outside because you don't want any wind. Those are my tips for you, Joey Joe Shabadoo. Those are my tips of what to do for you, Joey Joe Shabadoo. Very shortly, this video thing I'm video will be done uploading, and then I'll give you the in the chat. I'm uploading a file called Noise Thirty Three that way, which is an un which is a half-assedly mixed, unmastered, you know, partway done uh, version of this song. I just, I barely started working on the bass at all. So be aware of that. But it still sounds pretty okay. I mean, it sounds good enough for you to put down, to use to make a vocal recording. When you do make a vocal recording, you'll need to, listen to the song on one device um you need to listen to the song on one device while concurrently recording it on your phone so like if you do you have a laptop or something that you can um yeah 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 she did but whatever i'm not upset about kim and she's i i regret being saying some mean things about her on the channel in the last week or so you know she gets volatile I, just because well i've been thinking about it because she's been with the except once she's gotten once they once they were out she became quite reasonable and wanted to talk to me and stuff um okay cool um Basically, she needed the house to herself after we broke up in order to heal. And I sort of I sort of maneuvered her into a position where she had to agree to um, to let them stay there until the 15th in order to get to me to pay her rent for that month. So I did. And after just five days, she couldn't tolerate it anymore. So she called the cops to get rid of them. Because, you know, she'd say, like, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, really? Cool. So I just put down the track with the stock drones. That's the track that actually is going to be. Is going to be built around these drums that Rusmus put. So I have to put new drums down. So that's cool. That's great. Did you see, email them to me or what? Do you use your emailing finger? All right. Awesome. Thank you. I'm excited. Um, as far as the lyrics, Joey Joe Shabadoo. I'm going to say them out loud right now on this live stream. So then, um, I mean, I tell you what, send me a mix, a stereo mix of the drums as you think they should be stereo mixed. And if I don't like the stereo mix, I'll ask you for, um, for the pieces. How does that sound? Or even out of the loop, Jeebus. His name's Spacey. I'm calling him Stacy. That's being an asswipe. I mean, I guess it. The what you could do is possibly like mix everything but the the hi hat and any crashes you have uh, because no but just mix it all yourself uh, uh, just mix it as you think it should be mixed and then all the uh, we'll do it the way I first said because the only thing is um, the one thing you kind of have to mix separately or, or benefit from mixing separately seems to be hi-hats you know but um, ignore that though 
Jeebus, stop calling him Stacy, or I'm going to uh, I'm going to put you on timeout. You know what I'm saying though, Rizmus, about hi hats, like. Um, Fucking asshole. Oh my god. Jeebus. <laughs> I saw what you do. Such a rebel, Jeebus. You just gotta rebel, huh? You just gotta be like, yeah, I'm going to say it then. <laughs> None of your biz. God damn it. God damn it, now everybody's saying it. See, this is the problem with censoring people, huh? Yeah, okay, cool. So, um, do you think, I mean, like, what do you think about mixing drums? Like, do you generally feel like you're pretty good at it? I know I did it, I'm just gonna have to live with it. I won't do any good to try to police it any further. Yes, I did, Fenty Deluxe, yes, I did. I'm, I can't free him once I put him on timeout. He'll come out of timeout on his own eventually, though. Okay. Well, I, let's see what your judgment says about the best thing there, and uh, I'll, I'll see what it sounds like. I'm excited to hear it. Very excited. Oh, yeah, existential depression. I wanted to talk about that. Is that you who asked me? No, I was never a cop. <laughs> Fuck no. No, definitely not. Thanks, Countess. Thanks for being my uh, <laughs> my fellow authoritarian. Step one to getting over existential depression. Learn some damn respect. Uh, existential depression. I mean, how would you distinguish that from regular depression? Because when I talk about existential terror... I mean that in the sense that it relates to mortality and the passage of time specifically. I literally slept for 17 hours. Does that make me existentially depressed or just lazy or just an IHP? I mean, any any of the NTPs and ESTPs, I'm not sure if it's true ISPs or not, we don't sleep well. We just don't sleep well. And then eventually we crash out hardcore for like 17 hours. You put the guy who asked on timeout, who asked what? I forgot what guy who asked what. I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, I, oh yeah, the existential. Yeah, I did. And then I, now the important. But see, after he asked that question, he started getting douchey. I guess he tried to uh, apply his own solution. Yeah, I've taken plenty of hallucinogens. Hallucinogens. I've taken acid. I've taken mushrooms. I've taken ecstasy, aka MDMA, aka Molly. Um, I've not done peyote. I'm not sure if mescaline is the same thing as peyote, but I've not done mescaline if it's not the same thing as peyote. Um, I've not done DMT. I've not done PCP. I have done ketamine, which is a dissociative, it's certainly not a hallucinogen. Yeah, I only did it, I only did really, real strong Molly one time. And uh, I felt afterwards, I had this like these twitches for like, I don't know, a day or so. And uh, I never did it again. It concerned me. Um, have you done flaca? I don't know what flaca is. No. Um. No, I loved it. It was great. It felt like being an angel, like people said. But what I'm saying, I didn't like the fact that it made me twitch after I was done with it. But have you ever taken your pants all the way off and taken a piss while spinning in circles? No, I hate spinning in circles. It makes me feel sick. But Alexander Cruz did that throughout most of her senior year in high school. She'd take her pants all the way off and piss while spinning in circles. It mostly just made her legs wet. Um, but I've seen some interesting headlines about ketamine for psychosis lately, interestingly. 
Existential depression is depression that has made its way through the meta world and has manifested itself in actualized in the real world. The fix go to bed, get rest, stop pulling all layers. Right on the nose, Peter Dennis. Right on the nose. Boo. SI. Solution. Mushrooms don't seem to me to enhance any at all. They, I don't know what they do. Um, but I will say this, that when I'm done taking mushrooms, uh, for the next week or so, I feel lighter, less burdened by the dread that periodically enters my heart. Although, in general, right now, I'm feeling less, less burdened by the dread that enters my heart. Sarati Chandran. Hey, look, it's Stacy. Um, Sarati Chandran, have you given up your resistance to my request? Well, Jeebus, I'm an authoritarian now. Did you forget? Oh, you didn't hear about the change, huh? Yeah, yeah, today I was decided that from now on I'm going to be super authoritarian. Is it an NTP thing to have no qualms about looking for a romantic partner right after a relationship events? Um, I guess. I don't know. It seems like the perfectly logical thing to do. Once one is single again, let's start taking advantage of the positive things that you can find about being single rather than, I didn't block you. I put you on timeout. Jeebus. I just put you on timeout. Yeah. I didn't block you. I just spanked you a little bit. I didn't kill you. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm just going to have to leave that one up there, Big M. I like that one. That one makes me happy. Um, yeah. Now that I'm authoritarian, I, uh, Wow, Jeebus, because they all said it into your defense. And like the mob that is protesting, they couldn't arrest them all. So I just uh, I just gave in and said, okay, fine. You guys are going to all say it, fine. Okay. I heard there was a scissoring session during Eric's live streams. There's a constant scissoring session going on between any two women who are alone together while watching this. They're constantly scissoring. Um... No, Big M. I'm leaving that comment there because I find it I find it like rewarding. Like, oh, I'm finally in a place where I just am not remotely worried that that's true. Probably because you are black and he is racist. Hey, I'm transracial. Only people can be racist to me, not the other way around. I can't be racist to other people because I've been all races. I've known all racial inequality. I am all injustices and all victimizations put together. So that makes me the ultra super minority. <laughs> You're off black. I'm full blown black when I'm black. Um, what sample rate? Just like a regular wave file? Oh, 44.1. I don't use 96KHZ uh, at all. Your black is space. Is space black? What does that mean, flow state? When you say he'll scissor you, scissor you. I'm clearly a harlot, so your opinion doesn't matter. Oh, you're not talking to me. So, Big M, what are you? You've got such strong opinions about everybody else. What is your story? Who are you? What does it mean to be Big M? Go on, Big M. Tell us. Do tell. It lives inside the holes that are black. Ack says Sreddy Chandran. Sreddy Chandran, why did you say ack? What are you acting about? Are you going to stop resisting my request? Did you 
be part of an episode where we touch somebody? Mmm. Mmm, Strategy Children. Mmm. Mmm. I'm asking you a question, Shreddy Chandran. What is your interest in learning, Eric? My interest in learning is um, curiosity. He usually only bans me if he is sober. I'm always sober. Big M. Or never, depending on how you look at it. Uh... I don't drink alcohol, remember. This is non-alcoholic beer. I'm also curious about where your little brother small M is. Since you're a capital letter, I want to know what you've done with a lowercase m because lowercase m is usually a little quicker a little what's the point of non-alcoholic beer oh big m i'm probably higher than you but less high than i could be and what do you assume it means if i say that i'm high or if you say that i'm high what is it that you know about me because of my highness hmm do tell. Jewish spies, Mossad, are indirectly responsible for much of the world's suffering. Oh, oh, oh. Look, group hate is stupid. So just don't even bother with it. It's freaking dumb. Act is an expression which indicates either apprehension or discomfort. I see. Beer of any alcoholic content is a salve for the soul. I like beer. Look, the thing is, I used to drink a lot of alcohol, and I very much developed a taste for beer, and um, I like drinking non-alcoholic beer. It's, you know, it's not the... It's not the same, obviously, but it does give me uh, a lot of the beerish qualities. So, you, you know, you get... Your foam, you get your, um, you get your kind of fullness, your bloatedy feeling. Do your parents watch these vids? I don't think so. I would love it if my dad watched my videos, but I don't think he's interested in them. You're doing keto right now because INFJ and I miss beer hard. When you do keto, there's no beer allowed. Who is group hating? Are you talking about how Hamtard keeps talking? No, I'm talking about Fucktard. I forget what his name was. Who's talking about the Jews and stuff? Do you have father issues, Eric? No. Walter B. Gates. And you're going to have a difficult time finding insecurities to hammer on me if I go. Religion is stupid. Most people need it. Smart people don't need that shit. This is freaking retarded Joel Nathan Henry. That's very retarded and dismissive of everybody else's point of view that disagrees at all with you, even though you didn't warrant anything. Indeed, you're just being provocative. You're not making any kind of argument. And so, Joe Nathan Henry, shut the fuck up. Uh, let's see. Keep your opinions to yourself. G bass. Wow, everyone's saucy and snappy tonight here in the live stream. Again, why are you being a shit? You're not even getting a rise. Well, he's not getting a rise from me, but he is getting a rise from his penis. This is how he achieves potency in bed is by uh, attempting to troll me. <laughs> the the nonstop failure. He gets off on it. He's a masochist like that. Mezcal is quite nice. Is mezcal tequila? I believe so. No, Jeebus, no. I'm not at war with Kimberly, and I don't want anybody to be saying dismissive shit about her. It's right the fact that I did one point, and I uh, 
take those ones down and, you know. I we shrieby ick die and an armin in rot. What does that mean? I've got mail. Cool, Rusmus. That's going to cause me to end this thing a little sooner than I otherwise would, but not right the second. But I am very excited to get to that. And uh, did I put the link to the thing yet? Joey Joe Shavadu? I forget. Did I put the link to the thing? Did I fail to do that while I was singing? I don't remember. Did I put the link to the thing? No, I don't think I've tried peyote. Is peyote and mescaline the same thing? Is peyote and mescaline the same thing you guys know? Anybody? I don't want anybody to... to oh. Oh, that's right. I was going to say the lyrics on the live stream so that you could listen to it later on the live stream. So lyrics go, too much noise in the data stream, loud enough to disrupt everybody's dreams. Temptations mean mistakes are made until it seems everybody's just throwing shade. I won't be just another casualty of other people's well-intentioned rules. I used to think that some tomorrow, there'd be time for yesterday. It's not the sort of thing that one can borrow. No one willing still to lend a day. Your uncertainty's implicit, just like an unexpected visit from a bunch of men all dressed in blue suits. I won't be just another casualty of other people's well-intentioned rules. I used to think that some tomorrow there'd be time for yesterday. The end. I didn't block you, Jeebus. I put you on time out. It's different. Okay? You were begging for the bone. Hambone had to, to he said, lock Jeebus in this closet for a little while so I can have my way with him. And I did. Peyote is mescaline. It is. Okay, thank you, Desert INTJ. I wasn't sure about that. Who is this guy? I'm Sean Fagan. I got a problem with this guy. Who the fuck is this guy? Huh? Listen. Hey, everyone, listen to me. I'm Sean Fagan. And I got a question about this guy here. This guy right here. Who is this guy? Oh, hi, Sean Fagan. I'm Eric. Um, pleased to meet you. You sure are impressive uh okay let's see here elon mars wants to nuke mars what's funny is musk warned us ai was dangerous now right who is this guy huh who does this guy think he is talking on the internet like some kind of fancy pants i'm john pagan well john pagan as I was explaining, I'm host Eric. We're talking with fans people, and it's such a pleasure to have you here with all of your capital letters. <laughs> I agree, Joe and Joe Shabadi. That's exactly right. Um, oh, Swift Eagle. Which type are you, Walter? Who's Walter? Ooh, Frankfurt. Oh, I love this Frankfurt, yeah. It's delicious. Frankfurt is. Eric, are you new for good now instead of cat it good? Uh, yeah. I would say so. I think I used to be chaotic neutral, really. But with, with a, a sheen of goodness, now I'm more like neutrally good, neutrally chaotic -y good. And I said, good day, sir. But if the email doesn't come by Wednesday, expect it on Sunday. If it doesn't come on Sunday, then I completely disprove myself somehow. Well said. How did I end up typing that? The Swiss are magical people. They are. They are the ones who have the power of flight. Walter Doss, functioneert, nicked, xd, ven, ish, off, den, neiman, clicky, Stet the bakery and odor off canal gehen. Thanks, Fenty Deluxe. Frankfurt School. 
I'm going to the Frankfurt School to learn about Frankfurt. Is Frankfurt School indeed? Hamtard is still talking, Eric, and he will no doubt continue to, Jeebus. I see the all caps is contagious. Am I holding a bong? Yes, I'm holding a bong. Thank you for reminding me to pull this bong rip. Thanks, Jeebus. And that dollar on chewing gum and penny whistles. <sighs> Jeep, I was curious if you want another ass pounder or not. It's like you took cocaine instead of weed with your energy. Listen, Oswaldo Muniz, this weed is called Honey Cocaine. It has no actual cocaine in it, but it is made out of marijuana. Do you have a good vocal version of that drums on Google Drive? You can send as a link here as well. No, I'm not planning on using those vocals. Those are guide vocals for whoever is going to replace the vocals with better vocals. Without, I mean, but I can give you that if you want. Uh, a vocal version without drums? Oh, I see. Oh, no, no. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Like, you're saying take the drums out and mix it without the drums. So you can see what it, I see what you're saying. Never mind. Now I understand. Before I was being stupid. But now I understand. And that's better than being stupid. Noise 34. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. And then. Meow, meow. So I'm going to push file, then I'm going to push open, then I'm going to push noise, and push desktop, then I'm going to push noise 34 open. It's not really the 34th one, I just start picking numbers randomly. Now I'm going to do a little, just a little bit of mastering here. Uh, I'm going to meow, meow. In this fashion here. I'm going to normalize it. Like yeah. I'm going to limit because that's not working. Because that thing there. Okay, come on. Let me set up all my fucking key commands. All right, export. I'm going to export your face, export your face, export your face again. Yes, your face has now been exported. Here we go. Google Drive, push the meow, push the meow, push the meow, and the meow. And let's see what it sounds like. Is everybody a little curious what it sounds like? Some people might be a little curious. That's how my excuse for playing it right now. I'm curious. So it sounds like too much noise in the data stream. Lighting up to disrupt everybody's dreams. Thanks, Julie Joe Shalidu. You rock and roll. Until it seems that the car is just throwing shade. No louder, Alexandra. Although, there's variations that are to indicate variations within your interchangeable place. All the people, well intentioned rules. Thanks, Sandy. Wow, everybody, I appreciate it. You guys are great. Very time for yesterday. Not the sort of thing that one can borrow. No one will be still too late lately. Your uncertainties and visits, just like an unexpected visit from a bunch of men all dressed in blue suits. I won't be 
just another casualty of other people's well-intentioned rules. I need to take that song tomorrow. Take it time for yesterday. Now it should be noted that it should be noted that um, <coughs> Mia <coughs> 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 yeah, has variations that match up with to indicate variations within the field of Mia. Yeah. So, like, for example, first I'm going to do mia, then I'm going to do mia. Indicates that the two things are different, not not a repetition of the same thing. We're going to do mia, then mia, then mia. Three different things, right? Um, but let's say you want to say a whole bunch of different things in a set of things. Then first thing I do mia, di mia, di, or mia, di mia. You know, um, because that indicates a set of mias. Now. If you're talking about piaos and piaz, those are reserved for actions. So when you are doing things and you go like, okay, well, first I got a piao, then I got a pia, then I got a piao. Uh, pretty soon you will, uh, you will, pretty soon you will, yeah. It does currently have base. It's not necessarily very high in the mix because, um, and because Jeebus. oh my goodness you guys look who it is look who it is it's king king krishna sarma pagu king king krishna sarma pagu what you do, what you do, put poo on my shoe, can can Krishna. Sorry, Pagu. Okay. Um, so, right. The pianos and the piaudities, there's not a piaudity, though. You can't piaudity. I mean, I, I'll have to think about it. I've never encountered a piaudity before. I don't think you can set cows like that of pias. But maybe it's because I have backside SE. Maybe SE DOMs can piaudity. Maybe they can piaudity. I can piaudity and mutity because I'm an NE DOM. Okay, so I can't even listen because it's on pause. Never mind. After college in a bus. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's a great, a great chat here, Ken Ken Krishna Sarma Pagu. I was singing the song this morning in the shower, realizing it only later. What do you think? Success! <laughs> Success. Looks like what Gene from Bob Burger, a keyboard, makes as sounds. Hmm. Yeah, I was when I was making dinner. You're singing Can Can Krishna Sarma for good? <laughs> I found myself singing it periodically, dude. I like in the car that I was driving today. I was arguing with Sweaty Chandran. I was having an imaginary argument with Sweaty Chandran telling me why she has to participate in this thing I want to participate in and getting mad at her. Listen, Sweaty Chandran, just do it. <laughs> well, I was having this argument in my head trying to tell her, no, Sweaty Chandran, stop fighting back and just, just do this. I was trying to, I don't know, in my head, and um, good night, everybody. Good night, Matt Evans, says good, Matt Evans. I was arguing with you to try to convince you to do this. Sit, sit down and do a video with me where you're part of a typing session um, as one of the typers with me. Because you're, you're so contrary. You know, you're always disagreeing with everything. Eric, I think you're doing this wrong. Eric, I think you're doing that wrong. Me, 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 me. So I definitely want you in the mix because that makes it uh, makes it fun, and I want you to come um, to do that with me, if you will, please. Don't be shy. Put away your shyness. 
Can you explain the Rhinan dichotomy of askers and declarers? No. I don't know. I mean, I'm familiar with them, sort of, but I don't know what they say about them, and I don't personally find that, that those dichotomies are reliable. They may be correlates, but they're certainly not determinate. You can't use them to type people, for example. Or at least I haven't successfully done so myself. It may be possible to, but it's not an area that I've... Um, what do you call uh, mind for my, I haven't mind that vein of ore. King can Shabadoo do Pikachu though. King can Shabadoo is um, what King can Krishna Samarapagu changes their name to and King can Krishna Samarapagu marries Joey Jojo Shabadoo. Can Can takes on Joey's name and they scissor happily ever after. Oh, Hambone and Jeebus, are you guys fighting? Are you guys being nice to each other? What's a Shabadoo? <laughs> it's it's not a Jewish surname. It's Joey, Joey, Joe, Shabadoo, explain it. It's from The Simpsons. Do you see any correlation between facial expression and an FI or FE? Probably. But I don't use it to type people very much. I mean, I may note it, but I don't use it because I don't think it's determined and I can't really justify it as an argument. Uh, probably Sarah Silverman is an Ian FP, I would guess, but I don't know for sure. I might have to start listening to music when I'm in the shower. Eric, quick! Difference between TE and TI. I researched this plenty before, but I just wanted to hear your take on the difference. TE is the log determining the logics and solving problems within the logic of specific systems. Thank you, none your beds. You're a wonderful, wonderful live chat member of the community, a giving person with charity in your heart and goodness in your soul. Um, <laughs> Shabadu is a Jewish infant. <laughs> um... T-E-T-I. T-E is how you is solving a problem within the context of a specific dynamic system, not universal and not social. So basically anything from a vacuum cleaner to an organizational uh, logic to a business plan, that kind of thing, right? It's all covered under T-E. Um, however, once you get into law, that's T-I and uh and argumentation in general is TI. Communicative justification is TI. So basically, TI is the logic of FE, the logic of communication and, and mutuality. And TE is the logic of FI, the logic of particularism and goal orientation and knowing what you want and not caring about how it plays universally or something. Um, so that's... That's the difference between TI and TE. TI is a deliberation function, which means it's used to determine the status of things. In other words, as you get data in coming in from reality, some of it is easily determinate and some of it is not. So, for example, a complicated addition problem of like five digit numbers, random numbers, like six five digit random numbers, is going to require a process for you to figure out um, what the total is. You have to deliberate it out. And in the same way, you know, after you, as you meet somebody and you get to know them, you need to spend some emo time emotionally deliberating out how you feel about the person. And uh, so, so TI and FI are deliberation functions. TE, on the other hand, is an interface function. In order to interface with the dynamic system, um, in order to manage the handshakes between the metaphysical and physical, since it's an ongoing process of putting information, checking, adjusting in your head, adjusting in the real world, yada, 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 it requires a handshake function. And people can only successfully attend um, as, a, as one of their top front four modalities through one of the two interface functions, either TE or FE. So because the amount of attention you have for interfacing with the world is devoted towards TE if you're a TE user. And so it's not devoted towards FE. So if you have TE on the front side, you have FE on the back. And uh, uh, same is true with TI and FI. And 
So it's like, also, therefore, same thing is true with TE and TI. They can never be on the same side. So uh, the reason for that is because if you are using TI, then it's within the frame of extroverted feeling. Or if you are using extroverted feeling, it's within the frame of introverted thinking, one of the two, depending on which is above the other. But either way, ultimately, it functions as the frame of the interface function because the interface function manages best the actualities of the realm um, that it's a representation of. In other words, FE is, is really the best representation of the metaphysical dimension and TE is really the best representation of the physical dimension because it sums up what you what you ultimately do there. So like my extroverted intuition, it has impacts within the metaphysical dimension as I understand the impacts, but the measurable impacts are are much fewer and less easily measured than for action that's less metaphysical. With FE, it manages that successfully so that it's as much about outcomes as it is about, about statuses. Um, that wasn't quick, but it was a good answer. All right, so let me address this once again, very interesting and challenging comment by Freddie Chandler. She says, you can argue under the frame of any cognitive function, Eric, not just TI. You can argue under TE, NI, NE, maybe even FI in some circumstances. So basically, what I have here somewhere, and I'm going to find the document for you, is an eight frames, an eight frames document of how one would utilize each of the eight frames implied by the cognitive functions in debate so that you can see that, in fact, you are correct. You are a correct lady, full of great correctness. Why? Because you totally agree with me. Let's see if I can find it. There are no results or what? Hmm. Let's see. It's in one of those debate ones. Where is it? I want to find this. So let me see where it might be. Hmm. Hmm. It's not that. Well, this is probably pretty boring waiting for me. Looking around, sitting here while I'm looking around for shit. But um, I really do want to find what I'm looking for. So, frames and approaches might be this one. This should be impact. Um, this is an interesting document. I don't remember really when I made this, but I'll share it with you guys. I have a shareable link. I shared it before. So here you go. Here's one thing, but um, it's not what I was looking for anyway. I 
function language and frames. Huh. What is this? I mean, I don't know if anybody wants to look at this. But I still don't find anything I'm looking for. Host director that pays bills. That's ridiculous. I do not owe you a nickel. Hope you're feeling better, Comical Cowboy. We are all here for you, you know. I have to slap you when you need waking up. But I love you. You sound happier, Comical Cowboy. Happier than sadness. Happier than sadness incarnate. Happier than sadness incarnate. Happier than sadness of truth. Happier than worst things ever that were. Happier than sadness of Ruth. Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, debate. Um, right. uh, let me, is it in here? I don't know if it's in here or not. Probably not. Done. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is it? Well, this is an interesting document. I don't know if you guys, some of you have probably seen this one before. This also isn't what I'm looking for. It's so difficult to uh, find the documents I'm looking for. I know this is very boring, but I really want to. Countess is a female. She is a female. She's got big old boobies on her. I've seen them with a shirt over them. Yeah. But uh, not, not out of their shirt. Uh, God damn it. Where's the thing I want to find? I want to find the thing I want to find. I want to find the thing I want to find, and it's bugging me that I can't find it. That's perfectly reasonable. Criteria? Mm. Mm. Singularity? Wait. This versus that. Huh. Well, I mean, this is very boring in the live stream, obviously, but I just am very frustrated I can't find what I'm looking for. I want to find it. I want to know the truth of things in life. Maybe it's this one. This one might actually be it. No, that's not it. Mm. Okay, so where could it be? Is it Hmm. I don't know. What would it be? Well intention. Is it this one? 
No, this isn't it. Boo, failure, boo. So, anyway, people who are chatting now amongst themselves in the chat, uh, I'm going to find this thing, and then after I find it, I'm going to end this live stream. So, just giving everybody a heads up, that's what's going to happen. Once I find this thing, I'm going to end this live stream. If what's his name still wants to talk to me, I'll talk to him briefly in autonomy. And then there's something else I was going to do with somebody. Oh, that's right. We're going to get Bruce Mitch's thing and do that thing. Um, I'm excited about that. So, uh, where would it be? Let's see. Hmm. Heuristics block? Maybe. No, that's not going to do. Boo failure, boo. Boo failure. Boo failure, I know you are not. Not very popular. New tab. Is it in this one? No, oh, this is the syllabus. Where's this versus that? Owned by anyone. Might it be only frames? Hmm. Is it here? PVT? Make a copy. I can't fucking find this thing. That's not it. That's not it. This doesn't have shit. That's not it. Why can't I find it? So frustrating. Oh, what's the point? 
Okay, so root. Hmm. <sighs> I can't find it. I give up. I'm a loser. Oh, wait. Is this it? Oh, here it is. I found it. I was just about to give up. All right. Let me tell you. This here is an excellent. You're still here and you waited for this. You were smart. This is an excellent document. I found it. I found it though. I found it. I do need a better file system, but I found it. So there you go. I'm surprised. Okay, now I'm ending this live stream. Is what's his name still here? Fanny Deluxe? Yeah, you're still here. Why don't you meet me briefly in uh, autonomy? Okay. Everybody else, um, I'm going to pull up on rep so you have a chance to click that link or whatever you want to do as far as links go if you want to. And say goodbye and everything while I pull up on rep. And then I'm going to end the lecture. I see you, Countess. I hear you. So this, I'm going to take this bar of honey go cane. Autonomy. 